in the store. Um, then Myung says to me, she turns to me and says, like, do you want to, like, live here? <laughs> Basically, like, we should move here. And I was like, wow. Like, yeah. <laughs> be really cool, right? Then we're thinking about the winter. We've both been in New York in the winter. And I remember how miserable it was. It was awful. It was horrible. I was here for a week in uh, de December, New Year's. <laughs> it was awful. But then we, I don't know, we were just having these thoughts like, I was like, I've been in California for 30 years. I mean, I love it. But like, I kind of don't want to die and be like, wow. Um, so my whole life, I lived in California. So exciting. I mean, um, I, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't mind it, but part of me is just like, wow, I feel like it'd be kind of cool to, when I'm older, I'm talking, telling people my life story. It's like, yeah, when I, I lived in California for 30 years and then I went to New York, I met these people. It's like chapters of your life. You know, it's kind of like when high school or college or whatever. Um, and people are like, oh, you can never survive in this or that. I'm like, I mean, I would stay in my apartment for the most part, as long as I have like heat, like, you know, I could do it. You know, I could do it. People don't think I could do it, but I could do it. Challenge accepted. And also, I could just move back. If it sucks, like, I don't have to stay in New York. I think people forget that. It's not like I'm going to New York to move forever. I would go to experience it and then leave. If it's that bad, I'll just come back. Some people are like, yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Like, surprisingly, like, a good chunk of people are like, mm, New York? Are we doing this? I'm like, wait, okay. Uh, it's it's an idea that's up in the air. We don't know. I'm, I'm watching or reading this book that's like about the habit building. Talks about how sometimes the thing that releases the serotonin is not um, doing the thing that makes you happy. It's the thought about doing it. It's like thinking about your vacation is sometimes often better than being on your vacation. So sometimes just letting yourself daydream. So I think that's what made the trip so good is that the rest of the trip, me and Myung, fully believe that we are moving to New York. So everywhere we'd go, we'd be like, maybe we could live here. Look up the price, look up the price. How much does this cost? Or, oh my God, this would be our local gym. That's insane. Like we just fully let ourselves believe that for the whole trip. So we're looking at things from a different lens. Like this would be our local coffee shop. What if we did this? What if we did this? And and, and, and we could live in this one across from here. And oh my God, how cute would that be? It's like I'd tap on your window or like whatever. So like the whole time we were just daydreaming. Fully and well knowing that like most likely, like realistically, are we moving? I don't know. Everyone we'd meet, we'd be like, don't worry, like, it was so nice to meet you, but we're moving back. Like, we're moving here, Tarek, so we'll see you. And, like, we'll see you in a month. When I was, I'll talk about meeting Rami. At the end of it, I was like, don't worry, Rami, like, we're moving here, okay? We'll see you. <laughs> I don't know if we're moving there, but 